Hello. All right. Um, how are you? <laughs> uh, my name is Christy Love, and uh, I guess this isn't really um. This is actually not something planned. Um, you know, it's not a prepared song or prepared poem or even a prepared um, commentary or anything specific. Well, it is specific. I'm not really usually that good off the cuff unless it's something that I've been thinking about for a really long time and, you know, putting my thoughts together for a while. Um, you know, I like to deliberate and whatnot. But, um, I've just, um, today was such an extreme day, um, when it came to, uh, Ron Paul voters that, uh, I had to, uh, express myself about this, even though I know I'm going to probably get vicious psychopathic stalkers after this, um, but anyway, um, I live in Tahiti, but, um, <laughs> point is, um, I, I wanted to say, it's a, it's a general, it's a general issue in general, everybody kind of has this issue, this issue of maturity, and being able to, uh, respectfully agree to disagree with people, and being able to just kind of be mature about things, like, you know, even if, you know, someone doesn't see your point of view, you know, if you, if you want to change their point of view, you know, that's, it's okay if you think they're wrong, but you still have some level of, um, respect for the other person, and also a respect for truth and facts, where you're not like twisting things and changing things that they said to say that they said something that they didn't say just so that you can make a point you know and you know I guess everyone can be guilty of that sometimes without maybe realizing it but you know if you're if you're doing it in extreme cases or with people you don't know and just I mean it's just not it's you know the whole I call it the Fox News uh, syndrome and uh, because they lie a lot and they twist things and you know because they're not a real news organization, they're, uh, they're all specifically a political propaganda, uh, organization, but, and that's a fact, but, um, uh, my point is, um, I guess I just wanted to start off by saying this, um, that's just an issue that everybody has to go through in life, and everybody has their, their, their good and bad moments with it, but specifically Ron Paul voters, um, I would have to say, since it is an election year, you know, there's a lot of heated feelings and passions on both sides, but, um, Ron Paul supporters have so far been the most vicious, the most um, uh, mean-spirited, the most negative, miserable, uh, petty, um, just bad. <laughs> They've just basically been the worst when it came to anything. And um, I'm kind of surprised that Ron Paul hasn't, uh, you know, been made aware of this on some level so that he could, you know, rein it in because when you support and represent somebody, you know, I understand being passionate and everything, but if you're doing and saying things that are just absolutely obscene, you are representing someone who you're going to make people see the person that you're representing as obscene. You're, you know, in other words, um, you know, if I, uh, if I say to somebody, you know, I like, you know, a certain type of, um, I don't know, a, some kind of name brand or something, and, um, you know, and I abuse somebody, then, you know, they might think, start to think that, oh, well, whoever uses that name brand, I don't, you know, they, they'll associate negative feelings with that name brand, even if they don't consciously realize it. You know, they're kind of be like, you know, they'll look at that name brand and be like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Why? I don't know why. I just don't like it. You know? And, um, you know, and the same goes for religion, you know? People get so mad at God, but really they're not mad at God. They're mad at the people who made them feel bad. And then claimed that they were messengers of God when they, you know, weren't really, you know, you know, in other words, they're taking their anger at whoever made them feel rejected or unloved or uh, confused or messed up in, in religion. And they're taking it out on God when God didn't have nothing to do with all that. He was, you know, he's like, what are you talking about? I was looking out for you. So I'm the one who saved you from getting hit by that car. Why are you mad at me? You know, so it's kind of like that. Um, and I have to say that the best way that I can get this across uh, to Ron Paul voters, because I, I have to, I feel I need to say this, because first of all, let me let me give you a little bit of a history. Okay, um, I have been uh, exposed to a lot of Ron Paul 
psychoticness or psychosis. I don't know if I forgot how you put it, but a lot of craziness, just all that's coming from the Rafal. And you know, I would have expected something from the Newt Gingrich people. Romney doesn't have any passion, you know, they're so dull. I don't expect anything from that, you know, or um, even some Sarah Palin people who are tea partiers and stuff, like you know. But no, I haven't even heard them spazzing the hell out, like you know, I guess they might have done before, but. It's all Ron Paul's people. All the only people who are who are acting like psycho cult followers are Ron Paul's people. And um, I mean, from everything from going off on people over simple things like not agreeing with something simple, oh, all the way to um, you know. Um, sending people ominous videos of Ron Anonymous or some weird crap that's disturbing and creepy, you know, that, you know, strangers and stuff like that, you're just sending them stuff, you know, all the way to a lot of racist stuff on uh, Obama videos, like even simple Obama videos that have nothing to do with politics, like the, uh, <laughs> the cute Obama video where he's singing to everybody. Um, well, not singing, you know what I mean, he, he just had that little one little... Uh, so in love with you, you know that thing, and uh, you know there's some. I mean, granted, there was a lot of racism on there that had nothing to do with Ron Paul, but I noticed that almost all the people who were for Ron Paul on the, a lot of those those uh, website with pages were racist. They were saying racist things, <laughs> and, and um, which is interesting when when people defend Ron Paul and say, oh, he's not racist, but because a lot of his supporters are racist, and the newsletters that he had when he was a doctor, they were racist, and um, you know, he's, you know, his son has said or done some things that were uh, racially charged. So it's kind of like there's a theme here, but we're supposed to just ignore it and you know not address that. But whatever, you know, we'll agree to disagree on that, you know, because uh, I notice a pattern and I'm gonna you know, acknowledge that pattern. I'm not going to put it away. Just, you know, you can't terrorize me. You can't bully me into doing what you want. I don't work that way. All right. You know, you can sweet talk me, you know, flatter me. I, you know, I sometimes, yeah, that works. But you, you bully me and I will press back harder. Bad things will happen to you. That's not a threat. It's just a promise. But anyway, um, my point is not to, uh, not simply to be combative, um, you know, though that is sometimes, you know, it just comes off that way. But, um, my point is, out of all the reasons why I would never vote for Ron Paul, do you want to know the main number one reason why I would never vote for Ron Paul? Because I do not like Ron Paul supporters. I don't like the way they act. I don't like the way they think. I don't like the way they operate. I just, I don't like them. They, you, I'm going to talk to you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to you, Ron Paul supporters. And you can dislike this video all you want or like it. You can, you can say racist, mean things. I don't care. Okay. My point is, I just need you to see this. And that's all I care about is that you see this video. And, um, Oh, have I really been talking for eight minutes? God, I'm long-winded. Um, all right, well, let me wrap it up. <laughs> I know I just started, but I'm wrapping it up. Um, I don't like the evil streak that is so prevalent in Ron Paul voters. And I don't know if it was there before they were interested in Ron Paul or after they got interested in Ron Paul. I don't care. Either way, I don't want to be associated with it. I don't want to be associated with people who act like that, who think like that, who 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 operate like that, who bully people and call people names and do bad things uh, and send creepy things to people and you know just trying to um, you know elicit you know negative things with people and lie and twist twist words and say people said things that they didn't say. I don't like all of that. So. I don't want to be associated with that, and I don't want to turn into that, and I don't want to represent somebody who is okay with his people being like that. I support Obama. Obama is not like that. He, I mean, the Obama campaign. Oh my God. Let me let me explain something to you. I know this might take me. Okay, this might be a long video, but look, let me tell you something. When I was, uh, well, I, I, well, okay, I am campaigning for Obama. Okay. But when I got involved with the official campaign for 2012, which is completely different from 2008, because 2008 we were just all doing our own thing. 2012 they wanted to be a little bit more controlled so that there's no uh, no no controversies, no issues. But the thing is, <laughs> um, I was actually told um, and, and requested to kind of uh, rein things in a little bit, you know, with my self-expression because I represent Obama. So it's like, even though I'm not getting paid to do anything, you know, the Obama campaign is not paying me for anything, even even still, if I am if I am a, a helping to, to officially campaign for the official campaign, I am required to meet a certain level of standards. Like, there's certain things that I just like, even if I really, really wanted to just cuss you guys out right now, I'm not supposed to do that. I mean, it's not really my nature to do that anyway, I don't think. 
depends on what you, you do. But um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but my point is, I can't do that. And you know, and, and then they find out about it, and they, I still, I still be, you know, cool. Like, you know, at a certain point, they might be like, okay, we're gonna have to distance ourselves because we're not trying to have that be our image, and we're not trying to encourage that kind of behavior in the name of Obama. And that's the kind of integrity and class that my candidate, Obama, has. Okay, I mean, he's more than a candidate; he's our president. Okay, but he had that kind of class even when he was not president. I remember because I remember there were people that he had to distance himself from because they just got a little bit too excited, you know? People get excited and they just, you know, they, they, they said or did some things that were um, too self-expressive, I guess you could say. You know, they didn't they didn't know how to rope it in, you know? And um, basically, I, you know, I get that. I get that, you know? Um, but it's just kind of like he has a code of ethics that is part of why we respect and appreciate him so much and part of why all the Obama supporters I ever made were always happy like you know we don't cuss people out over stupid crap we just don't okay if we do then it's from our own it's coming from our own lives but it's not coming from Obama you know what I'm saying like I will get cussed out by Ron Paul supporters for the simplest thing just I'll say Obama 2012 and they'll start cussing me out I mean that's psychotic I mean, that's cult-like behavior. Okay, look it up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up the word cult, and you will notice some parallels between the cult and Ron Paul people. All right? Now, you know, I'm, 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 I would like to be optimistic. I would like to think that there are Ron Paul voters out there who are not crazy as hell. Um, I haven't met any of them. I haven't, you know, I, I've met people who, who know how to uh, feign moderation but they're really still try they're really just they're they're roping in their uh, their their pit bull mission which is kind of like like a missionary only for Ron Paul basically <laughs> you know hyped up on that convert let me convert you juice you know that kind of you know let me impose myself on you and you're just supposed to like it kind of thing and you know I'm not supposed to think about or care about where you're coming from or what you're doing or or, or your situation you're just supposed to accept me imposing myself on you and be okay with that that kind of thing and um I you know I get that from all Ron Paul supporters and there's something inherently wrong with that and very arrogant about it as well as ignorant so I don't have that situation with Obama uh, voters ever. He has such a strong integrity a theme, uh, just central theme, just, just, just woven into the very fabric of his existence that um, you can't help but uh, respect and admire Obama because of the way he does things. But Ron Paul, if he's going to let you people go effing crazy over, over him or his beliefs or whatever, and, you know, which is funny to me because he's really just, in my opinion, just using you guys so that he can get you to uh, give your, your, your devotion over to his son when his son runs for president in 2016. But whatever, you know, that's just speculation, even though he did say that on CNN, I believe it was. But the point is, if he's going to let you guys just run amok like crazy, just, just crazy psychopaths, then that tells me that there's something wrong with him. There's something missing with him. There's something that I do not appreciate, respect, or admire with him. If he's going to let you guys go and just just randomly bite people like rabid dogs, okay? Because that's what you guys have been doing all over YouTube and and even other social media places, but especially YouTube, okay? So the reason, the number one reason out of all reasons why I will never vote for Ron Paul ever in my life is because of Ron Paul voters. And you guys need to think about that. Your behavior, your vicious psychotic behavior, is what makes people think, think to themselves, wow, well, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be associated with that. I don't want to, I don't want to have anything to do with that. And you are the reason why Ron Paul will never be president. Besides the fact that his views are kind of extreme, where he wants to just take us all back to the wild, wild west and have monkeys rule the earth. Besides all that, let's say his views were moderate and you still were acting this way. You would be the reason that Ron Paul will never get elected president because nobody, nobody wants to have anything to do with evil, crazy people who don't have any respect for anybody who doesn't see things the way they do. That's it. And